and uh, it's just starting. Lakeland isn't over because of what happened with Todd. Todd is not over. Todd's going to be back, okay? He's got some issues, and he needs to deal with them. We all do. We've all got stuff, but so did Jacob. I had people tell me, why aren't you going to pull off your Todd Bentley books out of the bookstore? I said, what for? They said, well, he sinned. He fell. I said, well, did you cut all the Psalms out of your Bible? I said, David fell. I think he messed up worse than Todd did. says in Galatians 6, 1, if a man's caught in any trespass, I don't care what they did. And Todd's pressing the limits on some of that. But it doesn't matter. I've had others, some of the people I respected and loved the most and still do, press the limits on what I thought God would tolerate without killing somebody. <laughs> of me of little grace. Todd doesn't do anything small. <laughs> you know? Okay, everybody, we're, we make mistakes, but it says if a man's caught in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore them. That's more than just forgiving them. Or you get them back. You get them back. I don't intend to give up on Todd until he's all the way back. He's going to be back bigger than ever. Better than ever. That will happen. I believe that. He says to do it with gentleness because we'll be tempted if we don't. There is a terrible arrogance and pride that can come. Pride of self-righteousness that manifests itself in not being gentle with others who make mistakes. going to judge that. He told me that right away. He said, those who make haste with their feet are fools. Air. And he said he's going to reveal a lot of fools for rushing to judgment. And you know, one of the worst things you could do, it would be better to be a false prophet than to be an unrighteous judge. We don't want to do it. We want righteousness and justice. We want the right thing. We do want it. 
right? But I tell you, a whole lot of that comes from the way we treat each other and especially God's kids. These are his kids. I know if this anything like this happened to one of my kids, I want them treated right. I want them helped back. And the ones that would do that, I would do just about anything for. We have to restore. It says the spiritual restore. You who are spiritual restore. And if, you're, if you don't have a restoration ministry, you're not spiritual. I can tell you that. You may do a lot of stuff, but you're not spiritual. Okay? So... You know, we, we have, but this isn't about Todd. I love Todd. I appreciate him. I think I've seen, I saw years ago what he was called to do. Lakeland, as Bob put it, I think was previews of things to come. But there's many more that are going to do awesome things. Even Todd hasn't begun to do what he's supposed to do, and there are many, many more about to come of age, to come of time. waste your time. Don't let anybody else tripping up cause you to stumble. Let's help them out. Get them going. We can't lose weapons like Todd Bentley. We can't keep losing folks like that. And uh, man of incredible radical faith and uh, seeing great things happen, but neither can we overlook stuff either. And we can't compromise God's standards of morality, integrity, and the biblical, you can't, we can't compromise those, but we don't give up on people. Okay? So let's, let's just go and keep praying for them. I know most are. You know, there is unbelievable favor and hope for, for what's going on there. Keep that up, but don't lose what happened there, what started being ignited there. It's going to be busting out all over the place. Fire.